Welcome back guys and thank you for joining me in another episode of Masterclass with the aging. Today we're gonna take care of the assemblers because um, I started doing my power plant in there and guess what? Uh, I gotta put a bunch of these guys. I got a birdie in there. Well, let's hope she'll get away. So, uh, it will have to be on two levels, the splitters in here. That means that the second belt that cannot be in here. It's gotta be more like Darish. Okay, let's keep that one in mind. And let's start placing some assemblers in here. Now, I might need two, I might need three, I might need five, I don't know. But we're gonna do we're gonna do what we can in there. That one fits amazing. So this is how we're gonna put them. Uh two three. Excuse me for a second here. Cover your eyes. <laughs> Get away from me. Okay, good stuff. Let's forget that one happened. Oh, I'm able to put eight. This is the Mark II blueprint designer. Uh, if you have Mark I, you'll be able to place three inside of it. And that's it. Let's try like that. Before going any further, I think that this is way too close. Yep. Uh, the other way, BAG. Thank you. H. Let's see. So it's gonna be something like in there. To be like the other guy, basically. Now, my question is Does this building here reach us that one? No. We're gonna have an ish. We're gonna have an ish. Wow. In that case, we're gonna make it with free. And uh, we're gonna do it with lifts because they can, they kind of snap in there. It ain't gonna look the best thing ever. But hide that. We're gonna be able to to do our blueprint in here. And call it a day. No. I don't think I'm ever gonna use eight of them because this is a blueprint for eight apparently. Three of you, one of you. But. Gonna do it nevertheless. Uh, that one needed to be only one BIG. Thank you very much for paying attention to what you're doing. Okay, let's ignore that one happened. We did that. Put on the light. Put on, put on the puny light. Okay, it doesn't make a difference. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's put the lid. I want everything marked for so I'm going to put it from there in there just to have a little more space um, because that, that it's in there. It, if I put it from there, I'm going to be more straight in there where the belt is. So I want to put it from the lids down. You can hear them click, don't you? Check this one. Okay, it clicks, it connects. Good stop. We have the upper belt. Let's take care of the lower belt. Always, Mark. Right? Bring it in here. Uh, down, please. Down, 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 down in there. Down in there, I said. Why not down in there? Come on. Okay, I want you to connect me. Who plays this assembler in here like that? Is the other way around. What have you done, BAG? Uh, yeah, that's the way. And it's gonna have to be perfect. Okay, let's ignore that one happened. Too, huh? This one, it's the other way around. What have I done in here? I will not erase this, okay? So, welcome to the channel. This is BAG for you. I stand by my mistakes. And I make a bunch. In case you didn't know. That's why we are here. Learning to make blueprints. Uh, 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 uh. Just like that. And I feel like I'm missing the belt in the front. But the pole is in there. Perfect. We got it. Uh, I want to have 
holes in here will not make it double whatever floor no no point for the having eight it's more than enough i don't think i'll ever use eight but with tier nine you, we don't know we don't know okay because those machines in there look standing let's just put it like that i might be forced to put a bunch of these guys down okay uh let's put the belt up top now do i want to put a belt in here well no gotta take care of the mergers um no effing way anything is going in here so it's on the middle oh it's between them amazing this is gonna be all crooked in here i should have started with those um how should i do this just to make them align let me think for a minute in here let's put this good voice on oh uh, like that something like that yeah mm-hmm so one two three four let's go five five okay. this side it's easy because you just look at the other one and it's fine but when you go into the other side the are in there it is come on cannot be what uh so one two three four five Let's hope it's the right height, right? No? In there? Okay. Now, gotta invent the build from here. Um, let's use those magics. Just for this special occasion, you know? Five of them. They should be at the same height as that thing those lifts i think this is gonna work just fine what a joke ah hey merges so will you align with that lift that's what i want to know no why 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 won't you snap oh my god this is gonna be painful here let's get a little far behind so I'm above this guy. Let me land on it. Okay, aiming for that guy. Boop. Um. Yeah. I'm looking at the arrow because you can see that green arrow from there through your hologram. You see it? It's in the right, it's in the left. Spot on. Okay. Oh, I think this time I'm gonna leave... Something. I'm gonna leave those in there. Yeah. <clears throat> Apparently they're a little too high. Yep. Four of them would have been just amazing. Uh, should we modify it? Well, the question is, is it going to bother me? Well, the answer is yes. So, let's do that. Sorry. Okay. You need to go away. You need to go away. Let's grab a mark. Five. Isn't that gonna be too low now? I don't know. Let's try. Merge. Oh, now we have the lions and the snaps. Kind of, sort of. It actually snaps. So, five clicks on that. It's only four of this? Amazing. Okay, good stuff. 
but I still feel like they go going downwards. So either you, you go up or you go down or you live down, you leave down your lifts one click. You put them four high, not five high. Nevertheless, I don't want it to touch that tip. So I think I'm going to live with it like this. I'm not sure I want to keep those, so I'll remove them from the blueprint and leave it like that. Nevertheless, that belt in there, it's quite useful. Let's see how far a lift will hang out without that. Is it gonna touch that one? Oh, it's gonna be right inside of it, so let's put that one back. Let's put that one there. Let's grab a mark 5, put it in there, and drop it down. All ready, okay? Okay, we did those. That one, believe it or not, is connected to that one. I think. Let's put it again. Yep, it is. Good stuff, but I didn't delete any circuits. Perfect! Well, what do you think? We have our blueprint for eight assemblers. This is gonna be a little different because we're not gonna make them only like this. We're gonna make some different blueprints for free, for something else differently arranged. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Again, trying to write. It's fine. Assemblers in here, please close that. Select taken for an assembler if I can find it real fast in here. Let's just type S, <laughs> and here we are. My color because I love it. Save okay. We get eight assemblers now. Let's delete these guys. Uh, not the blueprint designer page, that will be just outstanding. To leave it in place, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that one too has to go. Okay, let me quickly delete all this. Be back with the best. So I feel like in here I gotta do the same stuff. I don't know if I can. Uh, yeah, but no. Uh, where were those? In here. So I want it in there. I need four of them. I want the mark five lift going down there. Of course, if you're gonna need to put at some point, I don't know, maybe you will. 16, you put eight. Before putting the other eight, you gotta delete this lift, okay? Or no matter what combination, you need 10. You put eight. When we're gonna get to two, you're gonna have to delete the lift from the eight just to be able to connect this place between them. Yeah, remember that. Well, you'll see it in there when you're gonna try to connect your belts, it's gonna be nasty. Uh, give me six. Uh, the same directory, please. Just not mess up with them after that. Uh, yeah, that's good. Save. Okay. Let me make the fort. Okay, so I made the fort in the same way that I did the sixth assembler. Assemblers. This pole is far enough that I can use it for a connection. No need to put another one. So let's make four in here. Uh, same stuff. Gotta put the directory in here. Save it. Good, let me make the two assembler blueprint right now. So this one, which is the one for two, it exists only to supplement um, those six, eight, four, whatever you want. Uh, cancel. Set the directory assemblers in here. Edit. Oh my god. I gotta drag it from there, in here, assemblers, put it in here, apply, 
Close there. Save. Good stuff. Let's clear it. And uh, let's take it for a spin, shall we? Before making the others. So let's say we need eight or something like that. I have a blueprint for eight, but whatever. Let's say we need ten. Okay. Blueprint eight assemblers. Entrance point is this one with the arrow. So I put this one down. I gotta delete that lift. Wait for it to build first. Completely like a lot of individual pieces. You see, when it's highlighted like that, only now it's full. So, now I'm gonna add the blueprint for two assemblers here. Keep controlling it, it's gonna snap somewhat close, you know. Connect this. Yeah, connect this to that, connect this to that, ta -da! you're done. If it would have been on floor, you wouldn't have height difference in here, but it's fine. F, R, dismantle blueprint, R again, good stuff. Now, we're gonna make the blueprints for the most used ones, okay? So, it's gonna be one, two, or three. One, I ain't gonna make a blueprint. Excuse me, but I'm not. So, we're gonna start from here, let's say. We're gonna have... Uh, usually, put them to the right. Okay, so, gonna have one in here. And one in there. That's how I usually put them. I don't know why. It just happens to be like that. So, that's one of them. And I will need a second one in here. So let's put that one in there. -ish. But second one, you know? Uh, connect that one back. Connect that one in here. That one in there. Do they touch? Uh, they kind of touch. Okay. No problem. Grab. That conveyor ball is gonna be two. One, two. Okay, let's put it in there and drop it in there. Okay, and this is the blueprint for two. Of course, power as always. That's more than enough. We're gonna need a merger. For it. Now, these boys are gonna be chained, believe it or not. Okay? Because you can twist them. So, I want to have exit always to the right. You can make exiting left as well if you want. It's fine. So, I'm not going to put only one. I'm going to put two of them. Um, oh, that's a beautiful circle. See what I did? It's very beautiful, mister. Okay, this, that's my exit. This is side by side, okay? So let's save it like that. Yep. We're saying here two assemblers side by side in the same directory. Save. Uh, for one, I ain't gonna. Now I'm gonna make it for free. That's really easy, you know? Grab that, put it in here. And this way, you're gonna have everything balanced, which is the most important thing, okay? Because it's gonna be split even with this setup here that uh, we just made. Because that one splits in three, that one splits in three. The same thing goes for the blueprint of two. It's done. Okay. Sit direct. Assemblers. Right in here. Apparently I don't have photo icon. Uh, 
Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Can I edit the other one? Because it's gonna bother me now. Um, edit that one. I wanna edit. No, I cannot edit that. Okay, that's it. So, in order to edit that, I'm gonna have to come here. Clear. Load. That one. Uh, directory is good. Select icon. Select color. Okay, it's done. Clear. We were on this. Okay, so this is what we have here. Now these boys, you can put them from whatever side you want, and the, they will all they will all go in there. I pretty I misplaced that one. I'm gonna have to modify it. Oh. Okay, and now save it again just to keep it like that. So everything is good. Save it. Override. Yes, thank you. Now this free assemblers can be done different. And I had cases when I had to do different. What I mean by that, I mean only one exit. Because uh, it happens. Depending on the scenario. It's better to be prepared than to not be prepared, you know? Adapt in place. I mean, if you have the blueprints, why not? So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna say exit. One exit. Assemblers in here always. Uh, my color, please. It is my color, I think. Yeah, it was. Safe. Good stuff. For the two, yeah, you could do it for that one, but it's the same stuff. If it exits through here or through there, it's the same stuff, okay? For this three, yeah, it's a lot easier because you have the exit in here. Uh, what else did I want to do? I feel like I wanted to do something else with this place, but I don't remember what. Give me a second. Oh, yeah, I remember. So. When you're gonna put them, I don't know, you need five of them. You ain't gonna be able to use this and you're gonna have to modify it in there. So, we're gonna have to modify the entrances in here. Just a tiny bit, you know. So, let me just clean it all, delete it without the blueprint designer. That will be just outstanding. Thank you. And I'm gonna make the entrance. <sighs> I don't even know how. So normally when I place them, I place it like this, but this time they are placed like that. Uh, you know what? Let's clean the designer. Okay, let me grab my stuff because I've already been grabbing a bunch of stuff from the dimension. Um, when you build, you build always in the front. So the first one will have to be here. To the right, to the right, to the right. So I'm going to put two, three, four, how many they come in here? Uh, in here, assemblers. I said like that because, yeah, okay. So let's uh, pull it a little closer. Let's start actually with the merger here just to have the necessary space. I think that's the place it's gonna be. Yep, that's precisely the place it's gonna be. So we're gonna do it like this. Open, I can put four of them. This merger always goes forward because that's the direction you build. Always. You may have different scenarios. I don't know. That depends on how you want to do your factories. Maybe you want to have everything compacted on a 2x2. I, I don't know why you want that. Here we are. Okay. Okay. Uh, those have to be split as PhD, by the way. Okay. Uh, so the first one is double. The second one is single. Okay. I put them all wrong. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Where's theirs? 
so in here I feel like I'm gonna have enough space yeah so the first one is double the second one is single. okay let's delete the extra ones stop putting in the beds So, this is our setup in here, for four of them. I don't think I missed any builds. That one can connect it easily, that one the same. Everything goes forward, perfect. So, let's come in here and say four assemblers. That says it all. Okay, my blueprint is safe. Saved. Let's start taking out the pieces of the puzzle. We gotta make this one until here. I want to drag it one extra and after that delete that one now this is the same stuff but only three okay perfect we got the blueprint for two I forget to put the power in. Shit. Okay, so the other page. Uh, let's put the powers now because I forgot it. Uh, we start from here and we move forward for each and every single one. Okay, so this is two assemblers in line. directory in here uh, the rest is good um, gotta modify the other ones okay so clear load blueprint assemblers free assemblers in line let's grab that power ball put it in here connect to that go forward until here connect to that go forward until Connect to that. Go forward on here. Oh, my train is back. <laughs> okay, let's come in here. Save it. Confirm. Clear. Load. Uh, four in line. Come on, put that down. Okay, this is the fourth. Save it, firm, it's done, we can clear it, grab our majigis from the box and call it away. So when you're out and about and putting them on foundations, whatever you want to put them, you can come in here and say, well, I need three of them. Well, um, you can get them in line or side by side, one exit, or oh, one exit. Merging or one single exit or in line, you know, because that's the way to be done. I like this one a lot. Um, I like using this one a lot. But when I have to put more than four, I always go for this time. Because at some point, if I use four now 
everything you built is satisfactory. Tier 1 to tier 9, you finish up upgrading this, okay? So if you leave yourself enough space after what you put this for in here, when you're gonna come back to upgrade this one, you're gonna need another two. Did it death put another two? Or you're gonna need enough, another four because you need to double the production. Instead of overclocking everything, consuming a, a bunch of power, you did that one, you spam another four in here, and it's done. Issue is, keep in mind not to put any machine in here, leave yourself enough space. Worst case scenario, you put another four on the side really fast, and you just mirror what you already built. If you already built this one, you don't even have to make any calculations, you know? You just fly by its side. You say, oh, I use that blueprint in here. Okay, good. I come in here, four assemblers. I spam in here, keep pressing control on it. Guess what is gonna snap to it? Hitch, because you're gonna have to pull it a little. And done. What do I have in here? I don't know, I have uh, constructors, okay? Because this is going to six constructors. I'm gonna put it, that's it. What do I have in there? I don't know, I have a manufacturer. I'm gonna put it, in there. that's it. It's very, very convenient and very easy to upgrade your factories. This way. Even if you don't leave enough space in the front, because usually I don't leave the space behind. So what I end up doing is get in there and say, oh, I got a Mark uh, 2 miner. Okay, I'm gonna make it a Mark 3. We just overclocked it. Split that initial build and put a bunch of platforms next to my factory and start doubling whatever I have. Yep, that's the way I'm doing it. Because it is what it is. I cannot remember ever, even though I finished this game like eight times something now. It's not eight, it's like five. Um, what it takes. Okay, what it takes to do what? So, how many... Uh, I don't know, assembly director systems, I'll need that at the end. I don't remember. It is what it is. Well, guys, this was it for the masterclass with the assemblers. If you like it, don't forget to drop a like on the video. It really helps me a lot. And if by any chance you want to support my dream of becoming a full-time content creator, don't forget to take a look at those memberships. Thank you again for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of you all.